Welcome back to Honoring Black History and Still We Rise. In the field of veterinary care, blacks make up only 2% of veterinarians in the United States. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. In East Knoxville, there is a shining example of decades of African-American mentorship to bring more into the field. For 42 years, Dr. Joseph Kendrick has run a successful family practice of veterinary care. You've heard of the epiphany moment? Okay. I was a biochemical scientist at Oak Ridge National Laboratories. So one day, I was having a particularly difficult time in getting one of these Harvard graduate postdoc type fellows to understand what I was doing. And it dawned on me, he wasn't any smarter than me. He was just better educated, okay? And at that particular moment, that was my epiphany moment. That epiphany was custom made for him. The Asheville Highway Animal Hospital remains a thriving, multi-generational small business. It's also where Papa Joe, as he's called, has mentored generations of vet students, African American and white. But first of all, until about the last 20 years, it wasn't so common to find African American veterinarians because the only school in the whole world that would accept a person who wanted to be uh, a veterinarian was mostly Tuskegee. There were a few other vet schools that would every now and then would accept a black student, but Tuskegee University was the one that gave black people who wanted to go into veterinary medicine a chance to succeed. A Tuskegee alum himself, he did in fact succeed and become a blessing in his community. I was always one of those kind of people you know, who wanted to help everybody, but, but lately it had got to, it was a chore. So I went home one year and I was complaining to my mom. I said, Mama, you know what? Everybody want this from me. They want my money, they want this, they want that. She gave me a not so gentle slap on my shoulder. She said, boy, hush your mouth. All your life, God bless you differently than he blessed other folks. Whew. I got to calm down first. And he's given you the gift to give away and to serve. Dr. Kendrick's two sons would join his practice, the oldest, Dr. Brian Kendrick, passing away in a motorcycle accident. He actually never pushed us into veterinary medicine. This is just something we just kind of came into. His thing was, you know, you're going to work hard and you're going to make sure that you basically are a positive influence and I don't care about the risk. The hospital, a practice made up of four African-American veterinarians, mostly family, is rare. My dad is phenomenal. Uh, Hmm. Didn't think I'd get emotional about that. My dad has done more in this field before the city than a lot of people know. And he's not very big on saying it. He just does it because that's who he is. Um, he's been a good father. And I'm proud of him. That's the key. And the thing that I'm the most happy about from a professional standpoint is the fact that we have a legacy here. A legacy for decades in the making.